I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is January 27th, 2020. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I've been able to do in less than 30 days with my new Prusa Mini uh, printer. Okay, so let's go over the details first and go over a little bit more what I'm doing. So, so far, I have printed out 351 items with my Prusa Mini since the first when I put it together. So less than 30 days. And of those, I've only had a couple of failures that I'll call failures. And I'll talk about those in a minute. Um, but in total, everything weighs 3.23 kilograms. So this would have taken up a little more than three rolls. So it's a good idea for those of you who are new when you get a new printer. Um, I may print on the high side, but I could see someone printing as much as I did on their first month because they're excited and they're pushing buttons. So this might be a realistic first month. Probably not a realistic fourth month because you probably start to slow down and figure out what you want to do. Um, now I wasn't printing 24-7, uh, so I probably could have printed more. So it's probably a good idea, and also for fun, that when you get a new printer, to go buy probably, probably at least four rolls of PLA so you can start playing with some stuff. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, here's, here's all kinds of different items, and everything has worked out really great. And you can see I did another video. I did a couple other videos. I did a video where I did a video showing off um, this Wonder Woman print, and that's been working well. My daughter wanted a bunch of them, so I printed a bunch. And now, don't be deceived. This has a bunch of colors on it because I paint. I did a white one, and my daughter painted it. This is not a multicolor print. Um, also, did another video showing how I fixed my bed slat, and so those are pretty heavy and big. And so overall, everything's been going pretty good. Also, I haven't done a video on this, but I found a pretty cool thing for my my son likes road hogs, so I printed out a couple of these, and these have these have, they turned out really really well. Um, so overall. Uh, I'm 90% of the way of saying just get it if you're new. Um, I, the only thing that's making me hesitate a little bit is I just want more time to abuse it. If I abuse it for another three months at the level I do things and I see no breakage at all, and that's my prediction, I would say fine. Uh, even if I do see a break that you can fix, fantastic. But I got a feeling the way they've done this, even with me abusing it, I got a, I got a good feeling. I think I might go a whole year without a break with doing heavy printing. Um, so I'm excited. So overall, like, if you're on the fence, go buy one. If you're not even on the fence, maybe watch me for a few more months and see what you think. But I think this is going to be a good way to go. Now, for the prints that failed, one print that failed is not even the Prusa Mini's fault. So I have a thing out on Thingiverse, I'm not the only one, to, sh to print out chains, which is really cool because it prints them out and then you break them off. But when it prints them, it actually hooks on at a 45 degree angle. So this is actually held onto the bed like that. And I failed to, um, for those of you who knew, depending on what you're printing, I like to put a little bit of <clears throat> stick glue on there to help it hold on firm. And I just didn't get one spot. So on this one, it held pretty well. And I, I did glue it down, but I missed gluing under one spot. And so once I got to the top and it had a lot of leverage, it broke off. And so as a result, uh, actually, sorry, it printed this way. So as a, as a result, this broke off. And it, even though it continued to attempt to print, it no longer attached here. But you can see it actually finished off the other chains. So that's a nice thing. That's not a failure with a printer. That's a failure with me properly gluing it with the state things are. Now, I hope five years from now, that, that, that would be a failure with a printer. I hope they get better ways to attach where you would think that that might be a, something they can fix. But for right now, the state, that's my failure. Uh, then I got three other failures that I can show you. This one's probably the easiest one. And th these aren't really b big failures. Uh, if you're new to 3D printing, you'll find out the first layer is the most important. Once you get that nice first layer done, then the rest of it just attaches real precisely, no problem. But if you look at this one, you get close in on this, or close in on this, I don't know if the black will show up very well, but you'll see this didn't get it. At some point, I must have fiddled with something and the adjustment got off a little bit. And so if I look at that versus, uh, let's see if I can, let's see if I can find a good one. Uh, ah, there's a good one. Um, you can see the first layer on this is nice and smooth. This one, didn't get down low enough, and so as a result, didn't attach very well. And so you can see the difference between the two if you get close on it. Uh, but you can see it's still kind of, once it got past that first layer, recovered, I just have a really bad first layer. Same thing happened here, but once I adjusted it, all was good. Um, in fact, if you look at a, 
after I adjusted I did one of these and you can see, I don't know how it holds up in the light, very smooth and very rough first layer. <clears throat> but that's it. Uh, no catastrophic failures, nothing severe. Uh, there are um, a few things that are a little buggy with how it runs in the code. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but overall I've been able to overcome every single one of them. Uh, well, maybe I will go over a little bit. One thing is because of the nature of how this works versus the i3 where it has to push all the way through here, I have had some issues when you try to retract it. So you're done with the print. You're not printing anymore. Print's done. But you're trying to swap out your, your filament where you'll hit the retract, you'll push it and try to get it out, and it won't quite come out. And you can see what they do in their code. It looks like they have to push it through, ram it through a little bit, and then try to pull it out. And it doesn't, on, a, on a rare occasion, it doesn't work. And so when that doesn't work, all I've had to do is I've actually tell it to put more filament in to purge it, and it pushes it out a little bit, and then I try to retract it again, and it retracts every time. So I've been able to overcome, so far, any, mechan any uh, I don't want to say mechanical issues, mechanical slash coding issues on this. It's been fine, so nothing has been an issue. In fact, I may do an upcoming video on some of the things I've seen. But overall, everything's been able to overcome. So there you go. Didn't want to belabor too long on this, but less than one month, almost 400 things printed of different sizes, different shapes, different things, almost well, well over three kilograms. And I call it a success. The only thing that makes me hesitate to say, go out and buy it, is just time. I want to beat on it for a few more months and then declare it the victor. And right now, that's, the only th that's my only hesitation. I, I almost declared the victor now because it is, it is rocking, it is getting used, and I like it, and I don't see a problem. I don't predict a problem going forward. So if you're on the fence, go buy it. If you've already ordered one, like a lot of you have, and when it, feel, feel good that it's going to be good when it gets there. Um, it's a good product. I like it. So there you go. 300 items. Hey, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, Hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.